What's going on world? It's your boy George Kill, associate editor at NiceKids.com. And today, we're here to unleash a new episode of our sneak peek series. Now we've been to a basketball player's closet, a rapper's closet, a rap group's closet, and a DJ's closet. But today, we find ourselves in a professional baseball player's closet. Jeremy Guthrie of the Kansas City Royals has exclusives you will not find in anybody else's closet. You might recognize his name from the picture of the shoe vault, not a closet, but a vault that surfaced two years ago. We finally got a chance to visit that vault. Check it out. So we're all the way out here in Utah with Jeremy Guthrie of the Kansas City Royals. How you doing, man? You know what, aside from being real cold, I'm not too bad. I heard you have one of the craziest vaults ever. Well, you know what, I, I haven't seen any other vaults, so if it's the craziest, we'll see. But, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in the craziest. All right, it's freezing out here, so let's go check That's it out. That is. So we moved into this house about six years ago. The basement was unfinished. And as we were going through the house, um, I was talking about getting a, a, uh, a safe for some personal belongings. And the guy finishing the basement, my friend Doug's like, you know what, why don't we just put like a vault door on this room here that already exists. It's a, it's a cold storage room, it's surrounded by concrete. And uh, typically you put an external door on this room, but he said, let's just go with a vault door. So we looked up this company, Fort Knox, just down the road here in Orem, Utah and uh, they had the thing delivered within two or three days, mounted up, and then we put the little rock uh, facade around it to kind of dress it up. But uh, you know, it was a great idea. Now I got a, you know, what essentially became a shoe vault. We didn't get too many other things in here besides shoes. So as you can see from the collection, 98% of it is, is Jordan and retros. Uh, I do a little bit of Nike basketball, which I'll talk about, but mostly, you know, it's all about Air Jordan. So um, I can go through, I guess I'll take you from the start. Uh, one of the very first pair that I had were these fours. You can see still got the flight box. Um, they're a little bit banged up, but they're OG, so that makes it fun. But these black cement fours, you can tell we, uh, we got a little bit of issues here. This is always crazy. I always thought this was nuts. You could open it up and see like the veins of the air pockets in there. I'm sure this ain't good for the shoe, but anyhow. So I've had those since 1989, you know, but got them probably at some store called the Put On in Roseburg, Oregon. A little shout out to them if they're still around. Some other old, really old stuff that I have that's fun. Uh, I got a phone call from my best friend in high school, Matt Clayson, and he was over at a Value Village in Medford, Oregon. And he says to me, yo, Jeremy, they got some of those Jordans with the really shiny patent leather that you love. He says, you gotta come get a pair. So I ran over there. I only had a hundred bucks. So I can only get one pair, but I got these uh, these Concord 11s that I still have. I wore them about twice in high school. Yellowing's not too bad on them, you can see. You know, I balled my last high school basketball game, I wore them. So anyways, that's a pair that has a lot of memories in it, of course. Uh, also my senior year of high school in 1997. This isn't the original box, but uh, you know, I hooped in my, my bread 11s that just uh, retro not too far back. So I got those OGs right there. Uh, one of my favorite pair. Um, some other fun stuff from back in the day. Here are some OG 12s. You'll notice they had the Nike box. They just retro these in, in 2012, but the, the French blue, I think they called them back in the day, Obsidian. You can check it here. Foot Locker Receipt Layaway. People, of course, always ask, you know, what's your, what's your favorite? My, your favorite Jordans. I love threes. So you can see here, I got a ton of threes, whether they're, you know, true blue, white, red, cements, black. Um, I like them all. I love threes. Um, you know, I probably go with just uh, the white cement is one of my, my all time traditional favorites, but also the black, you know, you gotta love the black. These were the true blue and 09 international release. I got these up in Toronto. So I just happened to be up there at the right time. Uh, I talked to a guy over at Champs and he hooked me up, so paid some uh, Canadian money for these bad boys, 189 Canadian. That's not a good exchange rate right there. You might want to buy that stuff in the US. That's not where you want to be paying for you know, retail, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Through, besides Jordan, you know, pretty much what I love is Nike basketball as well, especially stuff that came out in the mid 90s. So these right here are probably my favorite Nike basketball shoes of all time, Fab Five Air Max Barclays. Love these things. I wish I had the ankle high Nike socks on the front with some yellow baggy shorts from Champ Sports, but I don't. But I got the kicks. Um, also, these right here. Love these Barclays back in the day. Um, you know, these are just, just a classic old school uh, Nike basketball Air Max. 
Love these things. You gotta respect the, you gotta respect the Yeezys these days. Big fan of the Yeezys, so. If you're gonna have black, you might as well have gray. So we got gray too. Definitely one of the cleanest kicks of 2012, so. Proud owner of those. So Jimmy, what's some things in a baseball player's closet we won't see anywhere else? Well shoot, I'd hope to think that you won't find these anywhere else. These are actually really cool right here. These are the, uh, I don't even know what the, maybe a Nike Clipper? I don't even remember what it was called because I never wore it. But it's a patent leather shoe made just for Cal Ripken, his final All-Star game up at Safeco. They only made a few pair. I happened to run across an extra pair that were laying around at Nike. And when I played for Baltimore, Cal was kind enough to sign those for me. And he was the MVP of the game, so on the other spike. He signed uh, All-Star Game MVP, but he was pretty surprised I had these. So, um, you know, not a lot. I, don't I think he's probably the only other guy besides me that even has a pair. These are one of my favorite also. These come straight from Japan. Nike Japan made these for, uh, for Dice K. These were his rookie year with the Red Sox. Here's a rare pair from Alex Rodriguez. Um, you know, his, his signature shoe. Put the MVP on it. He signed it. He says I still owe him a fastball right down the middle, belled high. For these, for these signed shoes, so I guess at some point I gotta give that to him. Um, these are kind of fun. These were the Max Orange Retro um, ones. I put spikes on them, sent them out uh, to a company in New York. Had spikes mounted on. It took me a while to wear them, but I finally wore them in a game uh, against Toronto back in 2010. By far, probably the favorite spike I've ever worn in an actual Major League game, but they're uh, you know, one of one, customized. I don't think you're gonna see these too often either right here. These are Turf Bottom Sabathia 52 Concords in a size 13, so we didn't get them in that uh, that oversized 15 that CC wears, but we got them in my size. Pretty cool. Yeah, these are probably probably my uh, one of my most prized possessions right here. This is a um, hyperactive material, so you gotta be very careful when you're handling these. But uh, these came from Hill Valley. A guy named Dr. Emmett Brown sent them over just in case I ever went to the future. Um, I think Marty McFly could relate to these, but uh, we could charge these up and have these ready to go if you get the hoverboard ready as well. So these are pretty cool. Obviously uh, one of my favorite sneakers here in the collection, uh, having purchased them on the auction to benefit uh, the Parkinson's disease research and the Michael J. J. Fox uh, Foundation. So really cool. So a lot of people ask me how many shoes I got. I still haven't counted them, which I was gonna do for you guys, but I haven't done it quite yet. But this is, this is kind of the, the best of the best for me in this part, but we don't have enough room to house it all in there, so we gotta take you over to the, uh, to the additional portion. We'll call this the shoe room. Here in the shoe room, we get a little bit more of a stock room feel. Uh, you see the, the tribute to Jordan there. It's missing three of the Sports Illustrated covers, but uh, not a bad collection. I see some play exclusive over here. This, <laughs> yeah, you know what, I whipped these out for you guys. So these are fun here, the Sugar Ray 2s. Uh, when he was with the Celtics, pretty slick shoe, size 14, you know, for uh, for Ray. Some Griffin, uh, Blake Griffin shoes before he switched over to Jordan. These are some, uh, you know, some of those player editions signed. He was nice enough to send those over. We met him in uh, in the clubhouse this year. And then here's a couple more, like some Derek Jeters. Um, got those directly from him. Um, he signed them for me. Also got these uh, pretty cool Andrew Jones threes. Again, one of my favorite Jordan, you know, the, the three retro. So. Having these in Braves colors and a baseball spike is pretty sweet. These are my uh, the CC Sabathia Cool Gray 11s. He signed it. If you can see right here, he says to Jeremy. Proud to be part of the collection. We got some Andrew Jones Dodger colorways. I mean, I think you could throw some basketball bottoms on that and be pretty satisfied, don't you think? Uh, these are crazy right here. Some uh, some threes made for Marvin Harrison. They got the reflector bottoms on them. Crawford when he was with the Red Sox. Have this, I mean, this colorway in a 12. I don't know how you don't make that. I don't know how Jordan Brand doesn't throw this out there on a retro, but that is clean. Uh, also, Jay Roll with the Phillies, wearing the same 12s, uh, mixing his touch here with the, with the red and the gray for the road. Pretty clean, love those. Sweet logo on the back for Jay Roll. You see the Jay Roll, the 11 in there. And then my boy Tula Witzke, he'll love the shout out. Tulo is a, uh, He's big into patent leathers, big into uh, the Volt colorway. So these were his rocky um, plastics that he made. I mean, just crazy colorway, crazy colorway for him. These ones are sweet, right? Yeah, I didn't talk about these, but these are uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, you know, player editions for him. It was after he hit 600 home runs, so he signed them for me and put 600. So, you know, growing up in the Northwest in Oregon, was always a big fan of, uh, of Junior. 
and then all that he accomplished. So that's kind of a you know pretty cool co collection item. And then you got to have your assortment of 11s right here, of course. Go Space Jams one day, Bread the other day, Columbia White. This is probably my I hate to say my favorite colorway because I love Concord, but when Fresh Prince wore these in the final episode of uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I mean, I said that's my favorite. That's my favorite kick ever. So I got a couple pair of these. I believe this is one of two, according to my sources over at the uh, over at Nike. These were sent to me. Um, Terrell Owens for the Pro Bowl. I don't even know the year. 08 probably. But I thought when you said gray, I said this silver count, and if it does. One of two in the world, it's according to my, you know, according to what I've been told, he wore the other pair in the Pro Bowl. These are sixes. You know, you get the uh, kind of the multicolor reflective bottom with the patent silver up top. I mean, I don't know if it gets any better than that. Okay, so sneak peek is all about shoes, but what's another thing you collect in these days? Well, I love Sports Illustrated. You know, as you can see with the Jordans, which we saw earlier. Um, I grew up with the magazine coming to my house. You know, it's one of those things you wait for every week. Who's going to be on the cover? Who's in it? And so I got these Jordan ones here, and then also being, playing baseball allows me to meet uh, you know some other baseball players. So whenever there's another major leaguer on the cover, I'll send it over there, ask them if they would sign it and personalize it. You know, I think being close to Nike just uh, it put the shoes right there in front of me as a young kid, and it was right at the perfect timing with Michael Jordan coming into the league and doing what he did and kind of revolutionizing you know the the shoe industry so all of those you know just being right there in the center of it all you know just perfect timing perfect scenario for me to really get you know kind of grow my love for shoes i don't know if jeremy told you or not but the ups man came one time and i answered the door and he said i just have a question for you and i'm like yeah and he's like you guys own a shoe store and i thought <laughs> it <laughs> i thought it was quite funny i guess um in some respects we could we could say yes but no it's just a good collection i we guess own, we own a shoe zium